What's good with y'all, man? So listen, check this out. Guys, follow me on IG. The only dating advice you will ever need. Now, this goes for anybody. I know I got all ages over here. Guys, what we got to remember is, listen, in today's dating game, you need to move swiftly. You need to move efficiently. And if you guys are not prioritizing yourself in the dating game today, I'm telling you, you're setting yourself up for failure. So make sure that you keep your foot on the gas in your life. That is the best advice I can give you to kick this off with. Keep your foot on the gas in your life, right? Because you can't be taking breaks, y'all. Like you really can't be taking breaks for people. You can't let somebody else's happiness come before yours, right? And even with that, guys, you can't let anything come before that grind. That grind is number one. This goes for anybody because like we got kids 17 coming out of high school Majority of people that watch my channel, mid-20s uh, to 30s too, 20s and 30s, right? Majority of people that watch my channel, 20s and 30s. But even starting when you were young, right? Do not prioritize that damn thing between their legs. Please don't. Please do not prioritize that thing between their legs. Guys, if you go around here chasing some low-hanging fruit, you're just wasting your time. And time is the most important resource you have. It is so important, guys. T time turns into money. Money can't buy time, right? Y'all talk about chasing your bag, right? Making money. Time is your priority to get that stuff. So what happens when you get sidetracked messing with women? What happens when you get sidetracked chasing girls? You miss out on opportunity. It's the opportunity cost of you wasting your time. There's an opportunity cost. See, I want you to think this way. Think in these terms, y'all, right? Because I had a consultation earlier and it really just, it really just goes to show. And this guy was my same age. I ain't putting out the information like that. But even at my age where I'm 28, right? And I'm like, I'm entering my prime. And it's like, man, if I, even if I knew the things that I know now a little bit younger, I would have moved differently. Right. I might be farther than I am right now. Who knows? So I'm here to give more knowledge on that, guys. In today's dating game, you can't waste time on women that you know are not going to be a benefit to you. You can't. You can't. Guys, it's a king mentality. It's a king mindset that you need to move with. If you see your future, right, if, if your future self is your past thoughts, which is you presently right now, what you thinking right now, how you move right now is what you're going to become. That's the fact that that's the fact of the matter, bro. That's the facts of life right there. The way you think and the way you carry yourself right now is going to determine how you are later down the line. I've said before in previous videos, man, have a one year plan. On top of that, have a three year plan. And after that, have a five year plan. And if this chick over here doesn't fall in line with any of those things, cut it. Cut it. It's that simple. Like, it's that simple. I'm moving with this. I've been moving with this mentality for a while now, but it's like, you know, even, even before then, if I had just kept, like, I was only younger before. If I'm continuing to move it now and, and I'm in, just entering my prime, you guys is 17, 18, 19, 20. You guys is in college. You guys is just graduating college. You guys in your mid 20s and then my age and then going further, you got potential. You waste your time on women. That's why you sit there and want to prioritize women. You wonder why your pockets ain't getting deeper. Your pockets not getting deeper because you pick a low hanging fruit. These women are actually pulling value from you. They're pulling value from you putting it into them, right? So with that said, guys, you can't say, oh, I want videos about how to make money. I want videos on how to, MJ, drop videos on business, drop videos on investments. I can, I can have my investments on point, but what about you, right? What about you? You chasing women, you chasing pussy. But what is that doing for you? What is that doing for your pockets? What's that doing for your future, right? If women is priority over your time, over your place, like, like, and here's how I mean, cut them off.
if you got red flags, you know for a certain fact, you got certain red flags that you like, you know what? I can't bend on this. I can't bend on that. You see some some characteristic out of her, right? You see how she she a little party girl and all this other stuff, and and she just does things that don't fall in line with how you move, right? If she does things like this, you have to nip it in the bud. Guys, another thing, and not necessarily saying that you cut them, but guys, what you gotta start doing is when you start dealing with chicks, you need to lay down, right? You need to lay down a criteria Lay, lay down the foundation right from the get-go. Because some of y'all is letting these women get you off your focus when you in these uh, these relations, right? I don't want to say relationships, but every single thing that you have with a woman is a technical kind of relationship, whether it's seasonal, whether it's long-term, short-term, hookup, whatever the hell you want to call it. In this dating game today, you need to lay down you know, your criteria, your standards. You have to stick to them. You see red flags, you cut them off. If you're dealing with this chick and you're like, okay, that's something I don't really vibe with. Okay, hey, you check her on it, right? You check her on it and you're like, yo, so I appreciate this. You nipped it in the bud. All right, well, we'll bet. Now she has to act accordingly to that. Because if your standards are what your standards are, you don't sit here and be like, you don't sit here and let her be like, you know what? Well, you're supposed to accept me for me. Fuck that. Fuck that. Anybody who says accept me as I am. They got problems. They got problems. People who complain about, oh, you got money, then you change. So what, I was supposed to say the same? I was supposed to say the same? I was supposed to keep that that weak mindset, right? I was supposed to move making 50,000 as I am making 150,000. Move the same, I'm making 150,000, making 300,000. That's not how you're supposed to do it, guys. You're supposed to level up every avenue of your life. So when it comes to these women in the dating game, guys, you don't have time. Unfortunately, guys, we have time is in the sense of like we got time because we're men. We got time because as we get older, right, our value goes up. But that's only if we use our time wisely. Remember that it's only if we use our time wisely. If you out here in the dating game, putting these women first chasing the wrong toxic women getting involved with the wrong women and they're jeopardizing your future time is working against you time is working against you then right because now that's their time now it's time that you've been just discarding away and, and letting slip by it's working against you then so you don't have time in the sense of but hey you a success object make this time work for you bro Come on, let's go, let's get it, let's get it. Focus, focus, become successful, become higher value, become become a greater man. Use the time wisely. And then the women that look at you and they're like, you know, well, he just has high standards. Some women will look at that and, and they'll actually appreciate it. Very, very minor, very minuscule amount of women. You know why? Because they don't hold themselves to high standards. That's why, that's why. Because they think you shouldn't judge them based off of their past. That's bullshit. I am who I am, but you are who you was. Them whole tendencies don't just glide away. They don't just slide away. That's why you can't be Captain save -a -hole. It's not like her whole tendency just, oh, she she changed a whole new leaf. And I, I finally saved the first hole out of the streets of a record timing and, and the first time of history of... Hold them, I saved the whole out of the streets. That's, I'm sorry, bro, that's not how it worked. That's not how it worked. It's okay. You got to cut her though, right? Value your time. The standards that you have for these women, make sure you meet them yourself. The standards that you have for yourself. I've seen a comment section in, on a post and a guy's like, you know, I want a virgin woman and, and she can't have this and this and this. And then women are sitting here blasting him in the comment section like, well, I hope you meet those standards. You shouldn't judge her if she can't, blah, blah, and you don't meet the same. He said, yeah, I'm a virgin too. Crickets. Shut him the hell up. What you gonna say to the guy? He want a virgin because he's a virgin? The fuck? If he want a virgin, right? If he holding himself to a standard, he expects that of the woman too. That's fine. He held himself in the same regard. So with you guys, hold yourself to a certain accountability. Do it the same for her if you take her that seriously.
Now, the other side is, hey, listen, you stick and move wisely, as wise as you can, guys. Let me just picking out anything that, that it got two legs, two legs in a vagina. See it walking, I'm hitting it. Don't be like that, right? Don't be like that. But if you can use discernment, you want to stick and move, have a good time. Use your time wisely. Use your time for your business. And the only leisure time you have is just to quickly mess with some girls that you are, you know, both of y'all is mutually with that kind of energy. That, hey, that's cool, too. It is what it is. You use your time wisely, though. As long as you're doing that, I don't see how you can lose in the dating game, guys. Number one, make sure this woman is not coming first. Anything that any red flags you get, cut them. Any woman not meeting your criteria, cut them. King mindset, all time.